More than 1,000 wild animals have died in Kenya due to the ongoing drought. A report by the Kenya Wildlife Service, KWS, says the deaths between February and October this year have risen. Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage Cabinet Secretary Panina Malonza says the losses are predominantly spread across 14 species of wildlife. The most affected areas apparently are Amboseli, Savo and Lycipia Samburu ecosystems. Wildebeests have suffered most with a total number of 512 reported to have died. Sylvia, or rather Emily Chabet reports. The decimation of the wildlife population is at an astonishing scale. Game parks and conservancies around the country have recorded high fatalities, especially the grazing animals. Wildebeest deaths are the highest at 512, 381 common zebras, 49 gravy zebras, 51 buffaloes, 12 giraffes and 205 elephants have also died in different conservancies in the country. A grim report by Kenya Wildlife Services was launched today by wildlife CS Penina Malonza. The Amboseli ecosystem has also lost uh, 510 wildebeest, 358 uh, common zebra, 78 elephants and 19 buffaloes among other species. The Lycipia Samburu ecosystem has lost 74 elephants and 49 grebe uh, zebras. The Safo ecosystem has lost 54 elephants. And this again, noting, not counting the 56 that was lost last year. The report also listed the worst affected ecosystems with a warning that more deaths could be recorded. The months of September and October recording the highest number of wildlife deaths due to the drought. The continued worsening of the drought condition could affect more rhinos in the overstocked rhino sanctuaries. And this specifically for Gulia uh, Rhino Sanctuary in uh, Safo West National Park. Malonza appealed to all the stakeholders to rally together and save the biggest tourist attraction in the country. Some of the interventions that the government of Kenya has undertaken include provision of aid uh, to the affected species, and specifically the grave feeding program in northern Kenya and hippo feeding program at Mzima Springs. We've also been doing water tracking for wildlife in the protected areas. We've enhanced our surveillance of wildlife outside protected areas to reduce human wildlife conflict. Carnivores are less impacted by drought, but according to the report, they will at the long run suffer from reduced prey population, a situation that will last long after the drought. Currently, there is plenty of food for scavengers like hyenas and vultures from weak and the dead animals. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.